Today, I'm gonna show you something that not even the top streamers use. It's something that I found and it's crazy. Some streamers have been doing it already for quite some time. However, I bet you probably haven't seen it. And there's no videos on YouTube actually showing you how to do this. And it's not even explicitly shown that this is even possible. However, today, I'm gonna show you guys how to stream at 120 FPS at 1080p using OBS, streaming to Twitch, no problems. Now keep in mind, if you're not an affiliate yet that lets people turn down their settings, you might have some problems here. So just, you know, grind up to affiliate first, make it so you're actually able to have your audience lower the quality. For example, if you don't have a higher than 60 hertz monitor, there's no point. You're not going to see any difference. However, if you have something like a 120, 144, 240 hertz monitor, you can see the difference in video and it's absolutely incredible, especially if you're watching something like a shooter. If you were to watch Shroud play PUBG at like 120 FPS, it'd be a crazy different experience. The same thing with Tifu, imagine Tifu streaming his build fights at 120 FPS, but like nobody does it. It's crazy to me. So that's why I think this is going to be the next huge jump in quality for Twitch. I think many more people are going to start doing this really, really soon. So if you want to get on the train before it leaves the station, follow this guide. It's super useful. Fortnite, I haven't even tried it Fortnite at 120 FPS. Probably looks crazy. Um, I don't really play Fortnite, but so my name is Thomas. Thank you so much for checking out this video. The link will be down below to my Twitch. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys could just drop me a follow, maybe stop by, say hi if I'm streaming. I greatly appreciate it. But anyway, let's just get right into the tutorial. Let's do this. So I am recording this video using OBS. However, while some settings may be grayed out, trust me, you, uh, take my word for it. Uh, this is still going to be basically the same for you um, as I'm, I don't expect you to be recording or streaming while setting this up. So here we have our OBS. Now there's a couple of things you want to make sure. Uh, I'm actually recording this video as you can see at 120 FPS right now. You're not gonna be able to see it like I said, because it is on YouTube. But here's the thing. There's a couple things you want to do to make sure that your OBS doesn't break or crash. Um, this happened once for me, and I don't remember exactly what I did to fix it. I think I messed with some administrator access. Um, no, I remember what it was. I had NVIDIA replay and I that was messing up. It was causing my OBS to crash whenever I tried to record above 60 FPS. It was very weird. So um, if you run into any of those kinds of problems, uh, hopefully this will kind of go around that. So if you click up here, file, and then click on the show settings folder, you will get a thing that pops up here. This is your OBS settings folder. Now, if you look in your global.ini here, this file basically has all your OBS settings. So it's if your OBS crashes or bricks when you change the FPS, make sure you just come back in here, set it back to default 60, whatever, and then your OBS should launch. But just in case you it somehow doesn't work, we're going to set up some extra extra um, precautions. So if you click profile here, I'm streaming, so or I'm recording, so it doesn't let me, but if you click on profile, create export your current profile. This will export your current OBS settings before you make any changes. Save that to your desktop. Same thing with scene collection. Click export, make sure that you have a copy just in case anything goes wrong, just in case, you know, NVIDIA has messed with you a little bit. Once you do those two things, next is super simple. So we're gonna go into our settings here. Now I'm actually gonna, because you're watching this video, let me give you a little extra little spicy tip and trick, right? If you go to your output, and you're on streaming tab, Twitch says the max is 6,000. You can actually go up to basically this um, before Twitch gives you an error. If you have the internet, stream at this 100%. The quality boost is very substantial. Um, these are also very, very good settings if you want to copy them. This is my, these are my streaming settings. Um, but okay, little tidbit there. Video tab, here it is. I stream at 1920 by 1080, 120 FPS. So set you know, whatever resolution, if you want to stream at like 1600, that's okay. Set, uh, you know, this is, these are whatever, these are your personal preference. So what you want to do is you want to click on the FPS option here, set it to fractional FPS value, then go to the numerator, set it to 120, and then make the denominator of the fraction one. Go to the bottom right and hit apply. If this crashes your OBS somehow, I don't think it will for like 99% of you. If it does, go back to your uh, your OBS settings files, switch it back to 60, do some troubleshooting. I'm by no means an OBS expert, so I won't be able to troubleshoot all the problems. So I just make sure you guys are safe with, you know, saving and backing up before you, you do this tutorial, uh, just so that make, you make sure you don't lose any important scenes or settings that you spent, you know, a long time setting up. But that's pretty much it. And you should be able to easily just stream to Twitch and you sh you'll be able to stream at 120 FPS. Now, make sure that you let your audience know that you're streaming at 120 FPS to make, you know, to just show them like, hey guys, if you have a 144 Hertz monitor, 
you know, make sure that you are on max settings. Now, you basically need to make sure if you want to watch this, you know, your video back at 120 FPS, you need to make sure that you're setting it to the highest possible quality. And I'll actually show you how to make sure that you are at watching at 120 FPS just to double check. So we are in a guest window. I'm going to go to my VODs on Twitch. Go to video. Uh, we're going to go to my VOD from the other day. Watching. Now, we're going to go ahead and mute it. We're going to pause. So basically what you want to do is you want it to make sure that the quality is on the maximum possible 1080p 60 and when you go to here you want to go to the advanced tab video stat and you'll actually be able to uh, so you'll see this little thing pop up. Now it's showing you the display resolution at which it's like in your window. It's showing you the playback rate, how many kilobits a second. But what we're looking for is the FPS here. So if we actually play the VOD, um, what's cool is the VOD save actually at a super high FPS as well. Um, as you can see, the FPS is 120. And I can actually see it right now because I have a 240 Hz monitor. It's night and day. The smoothness is crazy. Uh, it's it's definitely a jump for sure. Uh, if you, I just try it if you can. Um, if you're streaming from a CPU, I, I really don't know if, you, if the encoder is going to be able to handle this many FPS because you're basically just doubling whatever task you're doing. So if you have a 20% CPU usage already, you know, you're going to double the frame rate. It's going to go up to 40%. So, uh, you know, at least. So just make sure that you're, uh, I mean, in theory, right? So just make sure that you're not, um, you know, you have some settings. Maybe you need to lower them. Maybe you need to lower your in-game settings because it's definitely a bump up in quality. But if you're streaming any sort of competitive thing, that's just like, that's going to give you the little bit of edge that you need to just kind of, you know, shine in, you know, among all the people that are at, you know, 720p, 60, 1600 by 960, right? I was really kind of hesitant to share this with you guys because honestly, if I'm being honest, here's the thing, right? Tifu tomorrow starts streaming at 120 FPS. How many people do you think are going to like pursue that, like do the same thing, right? Like so many people, all the big Fortnite streamers will see that, whoa, dude, that looks so sick and they'll switch to it. And because, you know, Twitch is actually a fairly like, I guess you could say like competitive platform. A lot of people stream Fortnite. A lot of people are really good at Fortnite. A lot of people are really good at PUBG. A lot of people stream PUBG. A lot of people stream and watch and they play, you know, somewhat competitively themselves. So a lot of people are going to have 144 and 240 hertz monitors, especially as 144 hertz monitors become much, much more affordable. This may actually be an option, especially if you're streaming something that's a little bit more um, shooter, like a shooter game. Your audience may actually be able to uh, appreciate this FPS boost a lot because I've had a very positive reception with the people that have watched my stream. So it looks way better. So, you know, give this a try yourself. If you can't handle it, go back to six but I wanted to give this tutorial uh, out here for you guys and hopefully you enjoyed this video. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.